Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Friday, July 31st, 2015, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here's a look at what's coming up tonight. Tonight, what risk does your cell phone pose to your health? Then, a revealing video demonstrates the gruesome details of abortion and the role Facebook will play in the 2016 presidential elections. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. You're a joke. You're a fraud. You don't care about humanity. You don't believe in humanity. And you know why you don't believe in humanity? Because you don't believe in yourself. You're weak and you hate yourselves. We don't need leaders that hate themselves and hate everybody else around them. We need leaders who care about themselves and their families and who have honor and who believe in justice. And we're going to get it. You will never stop humanity. You will never stop all the people out there that are waking up. You have failed, and you know you're going to continue to fail. To celebrate the birth of our country and give a big thanks to all the info warriors out there, we are now offering free shipping on every item shipped out of the InfoWarsStore.com warehouse. That's free shipping on all t-shirts, books, and DVDs. Free shipping on Molan Labe and 1776 belt buckles, which are also 25% off while supplies last. Free shipping on all of our InfoWarsLife.com nutraceuticals. If it's in the InfoWarsStore.com warehouse, it's shipping for free all during the month of July. It's our way of saying thanks to the true heart and soul of this operation who stand beside us and support us as we wage an InfoWar for liberty and freedom for all. InfoWarsStore.com, free shipping for the month of July. So just what is the future of humanity going to look like after a total technotronic takeover? Well, for starters, we have absolutely no idea what the results of years of cell phone radiation is going to do to, do to us. Here's a new study. Cell phones can cause cancer. Duh, we've been telling you that. Now, this is the study's author, Igor Yakimenko. He basically did a meta study where he was calling through the data of, of many other, hundreds of other studies that were performed before, revealing the findings from previous research into how radio frequency from your phone can damage DNA. Uh, that damage can add up over time and cause a variety of health problems like cancer, headaches, fatigue, and even skin problems. And these, this data was really only called by testing adults. Obviously, it's going to be much more severe in children. And the big thing to watch out for is the fact that these ailments can take up to 30 years to develop. So we have no idea what's actually going to be occurring here in about 30 years. You know, we're going to be walking around looking rather funny because humans are already evolving to adapt to our constant tech connection. We've reported before about tech neck and how teenagers are having to actually get back surgery and they're getting jowls at a much younger age from constantly looking down at their phones. Well, now researchers are saying that humans are evolving to adopt a text shuffle to use their phones while they're walking. And they're calling it a protective shuffle and it's apparently evolved to protect phone users from banging into other people or objects in their environment. So this is all of us. I mean, I tried to get everyone signed up to have walking helmets, mandatory walking helmets, so that we wouldn't harm each other when we were walking. But no, instead, we're all just going to develop, uh, you know, a shuffle, a protective shuffle. Uh, but what about, you know, how technology can be used to manipulate us into accepting a certain agenda? Forget about uh, evolving physically. For instance, Facebook. I mean, they want to be the portal to the internet. Well, now they're looking to expand their political footprint and they're eyeing a major role in the 2016 presidential campaigns. Now, we've reported that they've played a major role in the past. Some say they actually even helped Obama win the election. Uh, that they, they did a 61 million person experiment in social influence and political mobilization. They were basically testing the results of putting a little voting icon up on your Facebook page page and 
So obviously, if you're seeing that some of your friends are out voting for Obama or let's say Hillary Clinton, obviously you can be significant, significantly influenced by these messages that are on Facebook. Well, now Facebook is making some major changes that are going to allow political campaigns to target any of their 189 million monthly users in the U.S. They're going to use personal information that's provided to the site and derive from clues that come from how users behave, such as their shopping habits. So obviously they're following you around on the Internet and seeing what you're clicking and what you're searching. People say that once you click on Facebook, you're never out of Facebook, actually, because they're there watching you through your computer. Um, but this is coming from Eric Lawrence, who is in charge of political advertising on Facebook. He said, we are guaranteeing that you will reach the right person at the right time and eliminate the waste that you might find in email marketing, certainly in TV advertising. That's really the power of Facebook targeting. And obviously, we also know the power of Facebook is being able to filter through uh, and work on different algorithms to see who sees what, and maybe you won't have as much reach as you think unless you want to pay to play. Now, Mark Rottenberg, who's the president of the Electronic Privacy Information Center, says, I think most users really have no idea how much information Facebook collects about them or how Facebook is able to infer from even a post to a friend what their political orientation might be. If you're a Facebook user, Facebook knows everything you've said, everything you've posted, everything you've clicked on. So that's quite frightening. And of course, that is why the Federal Election Commission is now renewing talks about targeting campaign and polit political activities on the internet. Under the current rules, the FEC regulates paid campaign ads on the internet, just like they do on TV, but videos and other social media that's posted for free are not regulated. Now, when this was initially uh, ra raised by the Democrats on the FEC, opponents feared that they were just gonna use it to target conservative groups activities and news sites, and of course that's so very true because they specifically mentioned the Drudge Report, and we all know how very influential Drudge Report is, and he doesn't really lean left. I mean, he kind of calls them out on their stuff all the time and really narrates the way the news is going to be told. But what about when Facebook launches their drones worldwide? They're so nice. Oh my gosh, they're so kind. They want to provide Wi-Fi to the world. Their, their internet beaming drone is ready to soar. You think they know everything about you now because of all the clicks that you're making while you're on Facebook. They want to be your portal to the internet and they will be constantly monitoring every move that you make electronically, uh, covering large areas. And of course, they're gonna be going into countries that don't even have access to the internet at all. Now, I spoke recently with Nick Begich about the potential of the dangers of this pervasive wide and what this could mean for the future. Another gentleman, um, Persinger at Laurentian University in Canada developed similar technologies and found that you could trigger all kinds of events. And what he suggested in a mid-90s paper was that if you could just put a signal out that created a certain sense of agitation or dis-ease in the population, and then did something as simple as just run um, a normal news feed that perhaps indicted some group or some person for being the sort of the cause of all your ills, a certain amount of the population's emotion would be directed in that, in that way. So in situations where you just need a few percentage points to kind of move outcomes, very effective technology. And Delgado was sort of the root of a lot of this um, science in terms of what the public is aware of today. Now, when you talk about this wireless energy, I mean, are we talking about the same type of electromagnetic frequency that is being emitted with Wi-Fi signals? Any signal can be modulated where they can put a signal sort of on that. You know, would use the Wi-Fi signal as a carrier and then put a modulation on it that um, will couple with the human body. You can use any electromagnetic carrier. You can use computer, radio, television. Um, the electric grid itself uh, to create these kinds of effects. You can create the flicker effect. You can use um, um, electromagnetic fields. You can use any any part of the spectrum if you can oscillate and modulate that signal in just the right way. And they can. And that's and that's the root of the technology. Again, it's it's not the amount of power. Um, it's the way you modulate, manipulate that energy that causes the 
coupling or, or the um, resonant effects in the human body. And just to give you an idea of what something like that could look like from the other end, here's a little snippet of an entry uh, that was submitted to our Paul Revere contest. This is Clandestine. It's a sci-fi short film, and it takes place uh, on Earth in 2020. And the hero in this clip is an info warrior, and he uses the satellite technology to spread a message of awakening. Please, God, make this work. of past years were carefully orchestrated by an extremely powerful and influential group of individuals. Their goal was to create a one-world fascist government. Their intentions is to have complete and total control over every human being on the planet. But what's coming very soon is their ultimate goal. That goal is to reduce the world's population by more than half. And the rest well, the rest will be thrown in re-education camps and made to be forced laborers for these wicked individuals. Our political leaders are about to elect one man to govern all. His name is Judas Escobar. He is not to be trusted. It's up to you as individuals to take this truth and make the change to take back this planet. Don't wait on your corrupt leaders. Take so when I saw that clip, it reminded me of either Revelation 1-7 or Project Blue Beam. But either way, you and I are in the grid. Despite all of our rage, we are still just rats in a cage. I will provide our intelligence and law enforcement agencies with the tools they need to track and take out the terrorists without undermining our Constitution and our freedom. <laughs> That means no more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. No more national security letters to spy on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. No more tracking citizens who do nothing more than protest a misguided war. No more ignoring the law when it is inconvenient. That is not who we are. It's not what is necessary to defeat the terrorists. You and I are in the grid, driving our car, calling our family, even leisurely hanging out at home. We are all increasingly becoming rats in a digital cage, complements of our own elected power-hungry government criminals. I mean, officials. Nah, I'll, I'll stick with criminals. Bill of Rights, who cares, right? When you have a new app that can take down every detail of your personal life and use it against you forever. A 2012 Wired Magazine article entitled, CIA Chief Will Spy on You Through Your Dishwasher was met with disbelief and ignored by the general public. Now it's just fact. From that article, the CIA has a lot of legal restrictions against spying on American citizens, but collecting ambient geolocation data from devices is a grayer area, especially after the 2008 Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. Proud parents document the arrival and growth of their future CIA officer in all forms of social media that the world can access for decades to come. Petraeus, an inadvertent pal in Facebook. With the arrival of Timeline, Facebook made it super easy to backdate your online history. Someone like Barack Obama, for instance, hasn't been on Facebook since his birth in 1961. Creating new identities for CIA non-official cover operatives has arguably never been easier. Thanks, Zuck. You dumb fuck. The head of the CIA going, yeah, we're spying on everything you do. And he goes on to say, this changes our notion of security. This is their new psyop. It's just hide it and blame you. Yeah, we're putting drugs in the water. <laughs> yeah, cancer viruses. We killed most of your family out of cancer. <laughs> Free safety, Fidel Qaeda. Yeah, we're tracking everything you do. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're going to control how hot or cold your house is. You know those new light bulbs we mandated? They're controlling computers. They'll control all the appliances. Because <laughs> we're the good guys. <laughs> Nine years ago, InfoWars warned readers that Google was planning to use the ambient background noise of a person's environment to spy on their activities in order to direct targeted advertising at them through technological devices. That has now come to fruition with the search engine giant filing a petition for advertising based on environmental conditions. Two days ago, the AP reported Anya's carefree attitude dissolved into paranoia a few months ago shortly after her mother bought Amazon's Echo, a digital assistant that can be set up in a home or office to listen for various requests, such as for a song, sports score, or even a book to read aloud. So she unplugged the device. We can all thank gun grabber arms deliverer Eric Holder for introducing smart gun technology to the masses. Now. Security researchers have hacked the U.S. military's smart rifles, remotely changing the target and disabling its scope in order to commit a possible unintentional murder. The Daily Mail reports the hack is based on the smart rifle's Wi-Fi connection and has the potential to make the weapons which were delivered to the U.S. Army last year to being hijacked. When the Wi-Fi is activated, the gun has a default password that allows anyone in the network to connect to it. Small nano robots resembling pond skaters have already been developed to get close to any constitution-loving criminal the government deems necessary to spy on. UK government announces plans to remotely control vehicles, state to seize control of cars via Wi-Fi sensors to reduce traffic congestion and global warming. And then it goes through, they're just, the cars are already robot, all the new ones. Uh. I told you, and they're gonna tax you. It's here, Leanne, boom, the robot takeover. Witnesses said the car caught on fire and blew up driving down the street. Roger that, termination is a go. Cutting brakes, disabling airbags, accelerating car to a high speed. And if the global government's obsession with corralling humans hasn't gone far enough, globalist shill Mark Zuckerberg will be sending laser data beaming drones 60 to 90,000 feet in the air to hover over remote areas on planet Earth so there will be absolutely nowhere to hide from government intrusion or the hack attack of that government intrusion. Except space, maybe. John Bound for Infowars.com. Coming up, Alex Jones breaks down the ways the New World Order games the system in their favor. But first, if those Planned Parenthood videos are so fake, why are they scrambling to block their release? Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. And that's the principle of InfoWars Life, as far as I understand, that you've always had, is that it's not about synthetic chemicals and forcing actions, it's about letting your body do its own thing and giving your body the tools it needs to create these different compounds that are super valuable and super beneficial. You will find Brain Force and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I wanted to bring Weldon Henson in here briefly because we have a great sponsor. And boy, I've sure been enjoying the firearms that I've gotten from them, hdfirearms.com. That's Head Down Firearms. They have super high quality 223s, 308, you name it. It's called 556, technically, in the 223, that are guns that would be $3,000 or $1,500. Guns that would be $1,500 or $900. Well, the important thing to remember is that if you're not in the market to buy a brand new rifle, you have an AR-15, you have an AR-10 platform 308 rifle. They've got everything you need to upgrade it. Buy a new part, buy a new trigger, buy a new muzzle brake, buy a new handrail. It's all an upgrade for your rifle because these are all superior top of the line quality products made in America. Tell folks uh, about their low profile series. Well, this is an important thing to have. This is untraceable. You, anybody can get this kit right here. You don't have to go through a, a federal firearms license place. 
Uh, you can have it shipped right to your house. This is what the traders have been trying to shut down. Absolutely. So you basically have everything you need besides a lower receiver because that's what's traceable, that's what's serialized, and that's what the, the federal government's after. But uh, you can get this right here. Get your own lower receiver any way you want. There's different programs. All you got to do is your own research, and you can find out how to get a lower receiver so that you can put it on this. Maybe you already have a lower receiver from an AR from way back that you just don't quite use anymore. It's old, something like that. You can throw it on this. You basically have a brand new rifle and you saved money by putting it together yourself and buying this kit right here, which is cheaper than the actual rifle. And they've got the highest quality barrels, the highest quality triggers. We're not just saying that. Go look at the third party reviews. Tell them about the new rifle they're producing that's getting amazing reviews. And then I just got one, this 308. Yes, that is very... Arcadius. Arcadius, that's very exciting. They just came out with their own line of um, AR-10 platforms, which is basically an AR-15, but instead of it being a 5.56, it shoots a 308 round, which I know you personally like shooting a 308. Um, I like them both. I mean, just to be clear, they've always for years been making this for the big manufacturers, the high end. They're just absolutely. now not private labeling. They're putting out their own guns. Yes. Well, the one they sent you, I'm actually jealous of, is a beautiful gun. Um, it's set up and configured for long-range shooting, marksmanship type things. Just the scope alone is something to <laughs> snuggle with. It, yeah, it's a Vortex 4x16 scope, which you can get a head down as well, their distributor. Um, and and a thing, things for people to remember is that if you want a 308, you don't have to get the 18-inch barrel. You don't have to get the 22-inch barrel. You don't have to get it set up for marksmanship. You can get one with a 16-inch barrel that's set up for more of an assault weapon type you know, uh, uh, configuration. So anything you want, people just call head down. You can get anything you want made there. And any configuration you might want on your rifle, they're they're able to do that. And they have 100% perfect customer service ratings there. Bottom line, it's not just firearms, a ton of accessories, very affordable, and it supports the info war. If you're not shopping at hdfirearms.com, you're not helping the info war. I mean, this is a win-win. Thank you all for your support. Check them out today. Thank you, Weldon. Aborted babies incinerated to heat UK hospitals. Soylent Green, ladies and gentlemen, is made out of people. But now children are literally being passed through the furnace in order to fuel hospitals in the UK. They're being sacrificed on the altar of efficiency and prosperity. What is the secret of Soylent Green? The powdered flesh from dead babies some people believe they can cure disease. Because of its enormous popularity, Soylent Green is in short supply. Remember, Tuesday is Soylent Green Day. The supply of Soylent Green has been exhausted. You must evacuate the area. Today is Tuesday! The federal court ruled that the shareholders of PepsiCo, big Bilderberg Group company, are not allowed to know uh, what they're using the baby parts for, for in the flavoring, but we already know. So enjoy the flavor. We're going to get the real solution, which is going to be a combination of death panels and, and sales taxes. I'm consistently pro-death. I'm for assisted suicide. I'm for regular suicide. I'm for whatever gets the freeway moving. Is spending a million dollars on that last three months of life for that patient, would it be better not to lay off the, those 10 teachers and to make that trade up in medical costs. But that's called the death panel, uh, and you're not supposed to have that discussion. That you had become unreliable. <laughs> Is this the kind of society that you want to live in? Any kind of society that would do this to its children will do it to its senior citizens. It will do it to its dissidents. That kind of society will also eventually turn on its police, on its army, on its prison guards, on the quizlings and the collaborators who make that possible. This is nothing but a suicide cult. The scoops are on their way. The scoops are on their way. I repeat, the scoops are on their way. You will find out why Soylent Green means life. You will find out why Soylent Green means death. We gotta stop them! What is the secret of Silent Green? Silent Green is people! The White House expressed its firm belief Thursday that those recently released Planned Parenthood videos were fraudulent. And their source? Planned Parenthood.
Now, this was Josh Earnest, of course, the White House's press secretary. He was speaking to reporters when they raised this matter of the videos, which appear to show Planned Parenthood officials discussing the sale of fetal organs for profit, a violation of federal law. Earnest claims the videos, they're released in a fraudulent way with not a lot of evidence. And the reason he thought these videos are fraudulent was because, well, Planned Parenthood told him so. Planned Parenthood has indicated that's exactly what occurred here. And any review of the policy that Planned Parenthood says they implemented indicates the views expressed in the videos, or at least the way they're pictured on the videos. It's entirely inaccurate. <laughs> so here he's just saying Planned Parenthood says these are their policies, and th so this is what they're doing, and whatever you're seeing in the video, it's not real. But the question is, if these videos are fake and fraudulent, why are they scrambling to block the release of the remaining videos? Now there's a second abortion uh, provider coming forward. This is uh, the National Abortion Federation, actually. They filed an injunction today trying to re uh, block the release of the Sting videos. This is just two days after bioservice firm Stem Express obtained a court order blocking the release of footage, which was purportedly showing officials from Stem Express discussing organ harvesting. Now, according to the Center for Medical Progress's uh, David Deleton, they said that it, they're trying to block this video because it proves babies were born alive before having their organs harvested. And, you know, yesterday we saw a video that was released from the Center for Medical Progress exposing employees pushing aborted baby parts around in a Petri dish. And they were jokingly saying, oh, this body looks war-torn. So we know that this practice is occurring. Kermit Gosnell is serving life in prison right now for several counts of homicide for performing these abortions when the babies were actually alive. So they were alive, and you're going to see exactly how that occurs coming up. But again, the leader of the Center for Medical Progress told CNN New Day this morning that the biomedical company is trying to silence them, trying to, you know, push against the, the release of this video uh, because they're very scared of the footage that's coming out. I can say, though, and I'm, I'm happy to say that, you know, in relation to the to the order from a California court that came down just a few the days ago. The restraining order that uh, is trying to prevent you from releasing mm -hmm. some of the videos. STEM Express is trying to suppress a specific video recording of a meeting with their top leadership where their leadership admitted that they sometimes get fully intact fetuses shipped to their laboratory mm -hmm. from the abortion clinics that they work with. And that could be prima facie evidence of born alive infants. So that's where they're trying to suppress that videotape and they're very scared of it. So in light of the Planned Parenthood scandal, Oregon Right to Life has released a revealing new video. Some people might be very uncomfortable with what they're about to see, uh, but this video explains the myriad of the different gruesome ways in which babies are aborted. Take a look at this. Then the abortionist reaches up inside the uterus and turns the baby so it is no longer head down, but head up. This is the breech position. He then delivers the baby so that just the head is left inside the mother's body. The abortionist must leave the head inside the mother. Otherwise, the baby is considered born. In the eyes of the law, as soon as the baby is born, if the abortionist performs the exact same procedure that he could have with the baby's head still inside the mother, the abortionist has performed a homicide, not a justifiable abortion. Once the abortionist has delivered the baby thus far, he takes his medical forceps. He stabs the baby inside the back of its head. Reach up and feel that bony part in the back of your skull. And then right below that, there's a soft spot where the spinal cord connects to the brain. That is where the abortionist stabs the baby in the head. He opens the forceps to make a hole. He then uses his suction tube, which is essentially a vacuum, sucks the baby's brains out, crushes the baby's head, and delivers the dead baby. So obviously that's a very horrific and heart-wrenching video. Share that with your friends, share that on social media. P people might not really understand what's going on when they hear, partial birth abortions or late term abortion, or they might not even know what the process is like. They wouldn't even report on Kermit Gosnell and how he was snipping the back of babies' necks. Now he's serving life in prison for homicide, for that very thing. 
So even though that video might be hard to watch, share it with people so they can start to see the reality, lift the veil of what's really going on there in Planned Parenthood and there at these other abortionists. But that's not all. Listen to this testimony that was delivered here in Austin uh, at a state Senate committee meeting the other day. It was given by former abortionist turn pro-life activist Carol Everett and Abby Johnson, and they were describing what it's like in the abortion industry. After the abortion is performed, the fetal tissue, the aborted child, is suctioned into a glass container. That glass container goes into a lab called the POC lab, the POC lab. That officially stands for Products of Conception. Uh, however, in Planned Parenthood, the joke was that it stood for pieces of children. In 1990, Chad Trawick, a man from the Houston area, was walking around an abortion clinic in Houston. He saw buckets at the back door. He wondered why they would have buckets at the back door. He went over and picked up a baby boy, and there were slits in his back where his kidneys had been removed. This is not new. This has been going on a long time. The difference is now the truth is coming out, and we know that they're doing it and have been doing it in Texas for a long time. Dr. Martin Haskell from Ohio developed a technique to harvest organs. And because the head is the largest part and right. doesn't fall out, he would turn the baby over on its back. And he's the one that taught people to go through the back and harvest the organs while the baby was alive, a live blood supply, and then, of course, collapse the head. So there are different techniques that would be more dangerous Essentially to women. partial birth abortion Yes, technique. sir. During sessions, some members of the legislature were incensed that some of our colleagues were videotaped secretly. And there were calls for investigations and many, many people were irate. Is any one of you bothered by the way that this videotaping took place? Uh, one of the reasons I left the abortion industry is they did an expose on my clinics. They sent three reporters to the doctor to be certain they weren't pregnant at a news station, the CBS affiliate in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Sent three reporters to the doctor to be certain they weren't pregnant, then sent them in our abortion clinic to see if we would attempt to abort them even though they clearly were not pregnant. They caught us doing so, and that was one of the catalysts for my walking out of the abortion clinic. So it works. I mean, it happens all the time, sadly. But, you know, the truth, the truth is a, an ugly thing. Coming up, DARPA wants to know just what makes you a conspiracy theorist. But first, the globalist cause is destruction. Alex Jones wants to know... What is your cause? I feel like this all the time, trying to politically awaken people that they're being lied to, that there's an agenda. It's not left or right. It's, hey, there's mind control going on. The signals broadcast 24 hours a day through all this media. Just become aware of it, and they'll say, there's nothing going on. And I want to say, put on these glasses or start chewing concrete. <laughs> have taken the hearts and minds of our leaders. They have recruited the rich and the powerful, and they have blinded us to the truth. The question is, do we all work for central bankers? That's what I want to address to our guest tonight. Our impulses are being redirected. We are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep. An estimated 50 to 70 million Americans suffer from a sleep disorder or sleep deprivation. Outside the limit of our sight, feeding off us, perched on top of us from birth to death, are our owners. Latest census numbers prove the United States has the biggest gap between rich and poor compared to all westernized countries today. Our projections show that by the year 2025, not only America, but the entire planet will be under the protection and the dominion of this power alliance. The gains have been substantial, both for ourselves and for you, the human power elite. <laughs> For the first time in all of human history, mankind is politically awakened. That's a total new reality. I've got one that can see. We can't be the only ones who can see. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's got at the root of all our problems. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital, the old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. 
We're optimistic as to what becomes of it all. It really boils down to our ability to accept. We don't need pessimism. I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> You will never see it coming. Now predicting the first guy who uses a Second Amendment weapon to bring a drone down that's been hovering over his house is going to be a folk hero in this country. There is a signal broadcast every second of every day through our television sets. I'm just trying to warn you folks, the television is a giant LED weapon system. It's so advanced. They got a monkey farm in Bastrop, folks, that they do all sorts of testing on great apes, rhesus monkeys, the whole nine yards. And they go, oh, you didn't see this, and punch a button, and it'd be hundreds of monkeys with wires in their brains with television sets brainwashing them. All I ever have to do is be famous. People watch me, and they love me. You can have a little taste of that good life, too. Now, I know you want it. Hell, everybody does. Do it to your own kind. What's the threat? We all sell out every day. Might as well be on the winning team. The real men of the world have to stand up and say, I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Time to take a stand, boys. You know what? You got a little courage. Stand up for yourself. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones, coming to you live from the front lines. The globalists know that humanity has titanous power. All we need to do is begin to release our strength, our love, our vision, and their tyranny will fall. Release the titans. Jones here reporting from Barcelona, right at the edge of the Mediterranean Sea. You can say what you want about pre-existing economic orders and systems, but when you look at the globalist technocracy, it's very clear they're using pre-existing beefs, pre-existing divisions, pre-existing fissures to exacerbate the old system of imperial control, divide and conquer. But this modern imperial takeover isn't seeking to dominate ports and resources and peoples and to drag the best women back to the capital, to deck them in jewels in the palace. It is seeking to dehumanize the population itself because the globalists are now in love with the machines. The machines didn't build that culture. The machines were built by the mind of humanity. But the globalists have a disdain, a predatory hatred of the general public, as all feudalists have throughout history, and they've decided their path to immortality lies in shuttering human destiny and shedding their humanity and merging with some hypothetical, futuristic, transhumanist singularity. Well, even if that was a fact, and even if you could do that, you don't have a right to take over free humanity and make the decisions for the general public, but they think they do. And that's why from its forced drugging to forced inoculations, the fluoride in the water, to GMO, secret laws by the EU, the TPP, by Congress, unified globally so that we can't have basic choices. That's why you're doing everything you can to distract us with the most sickeningly ridiculous distractions of Hulk Hogan going, hey, I love black folks. They call me this, I call them that. Let's get over this. And they use that as a way to divide and conquer. Uh, or they use a few sad cases of psycho cops killing innocent people to further create divide and conquer for globalization to take over the federal government and local police. It is a scientific formula. And whether you're in southern South America or southern Europe or northern Europe or Japan or South Africa, 
whether you're in Canada or Germany. It is the exact same formula, the exact same playbook that we see being used to take over society. And all I'm trying to do is to get you to realize I've spent 23 years, 20 years on air, almost 21 in a few months, fighting tyranny, studying it, researching it, learning how they operate, reading their white papers, reading their books, and then coming to you and saying, here are my conclusions. Don't have to believe me. Go read these quotes from the congressional record. Go read this issue of foreign affairs. Go listen to what Juan Carlos said. Go listen to what Prince Philip said. Go listen to what Ted Turner said. Go listen to what David Rockefeller said. Go listen to what Queen Beatrix said. It's all about world government to cut off your resources and exterminate you and your family. And they're smart. They do it by successful proclamation incrementally. I mean, they're cutting off our power plants. They're shutting down our textiles. They're opening our borders as they collapse the third world and flooding. Spain is being overwhelmed by African flotillas as Africa collapses after they brought down Gaddafi that was stabilizing all of Africa. Italy is collapsing. I mean, they admit Rome is collapsing. They are doing this to then flood with our social welfare networks, our well-meaning, to further collapse Europe, further collapse the United States as a new political bloc to complete their fascist takeover. And these third world populations will vote however they're told, as long as they're given their payoffs, as long as they're given their, their, their domestication feed. And we're domesticated as well. They take our money for 80 years, put it in Social Security, sell it all out, bankrupt it, and then say, pay us even more taxes or we'll bankrupt the whole thing when it's already bankrupt. It's all about betrayal. The globalists have committed to betrayal. They have committed to evil. So why shouldn't they go all the way? They're committed to their cause. What is your cause? How can you even be committed if you don't have a cause? Because more than anything today, we don't have a cause. There's only one way the West could be conquered. And that's if we don't have a cause, if we get up our free will, if we get rid of our basic instinct for preservation of life. And that's how we're conquered by such pathetic death cults as Planned Parenthood and all this Caitlyn Jenner garbage as if that's our culture as a guy in drag. Nothing against a guy in drag, but that's our flag. That's our culture. It's a joke on us. It's the globalists urinating on us like a dog does another dog. It's dominated. It's all just a, 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 a twisted comedy for their enjoyment. Does it matter that I made Endgame 1.5? eight years ago and put all the documents in and how they plan the whole rollout and the end of the family. doesn't matter if I'm right. They've taught the public that it's valuable to be a slave. It's valuable to defend your ignorance. It's, it's valuable to not be involved. It's, it's cool to buy into the system. They say in advertising, perception is reality. And I've said many times, if you're on PCP and jump off a 50-story building and think you're flying, for four or five seconds, six, seven seconds, whatever it takes till you hit the bottom, you are flying. But when you hit the bottom, you die. So perception is not reality. You can be whacked out of your mind in a spaceship, open the pod bay door, think you're gonna fly out into space. Truth is, you'll be dead in seconds. So perception isn't reality. And that's why there's a war against reality and a war against common sense and claims that raising debt limits don't raise debt limits and two plus two equals whatever the government says and they're not coming after your guns, but they are, is an assault on common sense because it stands in the way of everything they're doing. Tyranny has always been overthrown or collapsed from its own weight. And now it thinks because of technology, it's going to survive that and metastasize the next level. No, it's not. All these back doors the NSA built to spy on the people, patriots used to go into Planned Parenthood. All these back doors the globalists built to control and manipulate markets, we simply use to get the intel. That is the patriots out there. And they're not patriots for America. They're not patriots for the UN. They're not patriots for Russia. They're patriots for justice who want the New World Order. One of the strongest statements ever was from a hacker that was involved exposing Planned Parenthood who said, look, I just want them to come back down to earth. You're not invincible. You're not God. I'll tell you, Napoleon Bonaparte was an incredible Corsican, Italian, French officer who rose from nothing because of his genius level skills at artillery and at management and morale of troops. But he still thought he could beat Russia and he was defeated. He wasn't a nobody who was delusional, but still he was defeated. He got too confident. 
Hitler won uh, the Iron Cross First Class as a Congressional Medal of Honor, a very twisted bad person. But, but he proved himself out in the field. It's why military followed him. He was a Congressional Medal of Honor winner. He was like a German Audie Murphy. Who's Hillary Clinton? Who's Barack Obama? Who are all these fake people? They didn't do anything, but they think they're invincible because of the PR propaganda. Let me give you a news flash. You know your mainstream media is losing the info war. You know your ratings are collapsing. You know you're in trouble. So what are you doing smoking your own dope, believing your own garbage, believing your own baloney, your own Bravo Sierra to tell us we're going along with you? That's the scariest part is you people may cause World War III. You people may destroy the world. Because you're so convinced you're invincible because you've taken our decadence as we've been drunk on success and on the past victories of our ancestors. And we're laying around while you're busy running the world and you think nobody's there to stop you. You are who's going to stop you. You're a joke. You're a fraud. You don't care about humanity. You don't believe in humanity. And you know why you don't believe in humanity? Because you don't believe in yourself. You're weak and you hate yourselves. We don't need leaders that hate themselves and hate everybody else around them. We need leaders who care about themselves and their families and who have honor and who believe in justice. And we're going to get it. You will never stop humanity. You will never stop all the people out there that are waking up. You have failed and you know you're going to continue to fail. Humanity will prevail. I'm Alex Jones from the very front lines of the globalist takeover because right here is where you will find the resistance awake and aware and it's happening. Because for every action there's an opposite and equal reaction. So I ask you all out there, what are you doing today to spread the word, to raise the alarm as the 21st century Paul Revere's worldwide? It is 1776. It belongs to you. It belongs to us all. It is the Renaissance. Take it in your hands. It is your destiny. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. Ancientdefense.com. Investigate 9-11. 9-11 was perpetrated by people within our own government. What turns someone into a conspiracy theorist? Well, there is a new study out that's looking to find this very thing out, why are some people more receptive to such theories? Now, a professor stated that conspiracy theorists aren't mad, they just have certain intellectual character traits that make them believe certain things. This is Kwasim Kassam, he's a professor of philosophy at the University of Warwick, and he's launched this new study uh, into what makes people believe certain theories and why such theories could push people to extremes, such as joining ISIS. And then, of course, he goes to wrap up people who are, are not 
uh, okay with the official story of 9-11, but he, he believes that some people are just more vulnerable to intellectual vices, such as dogmatism, gullibility, and closed-mindedness, and this in turn makes them more likely to listen to extreme alternative sources of information. So it sounds to me like he's going into this study with a very clear idea of conspiracy theorists because he talks about, for example, take 9-11 conspiracy theorists. Why do they hold on to these theories despite the fact that there seems to be overwhelming evidence that it wasn't an American government conspiracy to bring down the towers? Hmm, you know, I don't know. Why don't investigators just believe what criminals tell them at the beginning of an investigation? Why do they even bother digging up any more evidence to the contrary that maybe the official story isn't, you know, exactly all the facts? Like, I don't know, some of the first reports that were coming out on CNN on 9-11 that they only aired once, you know, showing that there was no Boeing 757 at the Pentagon. There's no evidence of a plane having crashed anywhere near the Pentagon. The only site uh, is the actual uh, site of the building that's crashed in. And as I said, the only pieces left uh, that you can see are, are small enough that you could pick up in your hand. Uh, there are no large uh, tail sections, wing sections, uh, a fuselage, nothing like that anywhere around, which would indicate that the entire plane crashed into the side of the Pentagon uh, and then caused the side to collapse. Or it could just be the way that they spin stories that make him so unbelievable, like the real journalists over at the New York Times covering the Planned Parenthood baby butchering scandal. Check that out. They, they say nothing about the videos at all. Their whole entire story is just about the pesky Republicans and their plan to shut down the government. Gee, I wonder why people don't think they're getting the full story. And now... You know, you'd think that they have this propaganda thing down pat, but nevertheless, the Pentagon, they want to study this, and they are employing some of their top scientists to improve the propaganda machine. Um, of course, governments have always been interested in mastering the human domain, but now we have DARPA's Narrative Networks program in full swing. Now, you can go to DARPA's actual, uh, one of their documents there called Narrative Networks, and they ask the same thing that uh, this other professor is asking. Why do people accept and act on certain kinds of information while dismissing others? Why are some narrative themes successful at building support for terrorism? What role can narratives play in causing and helping to treat PTSD? Hmm, so now they're going to be working with different narratives to, I don't know, stoke a little post-traumatic stress disorder. And one of the things they talk about uh, in their research is developing models and simulations of narrative influence in social and environmental contexts. They're going to develop sensors to determine their impact on individuals and groups and suggest doctrinal modifications. So there, there it is. That's their research there. And... If that does not sound like Jade Helm and what we've been telling you about mastering the human domain with this geospatial intelligence, I don't know what is. There you go, DARPA's own narrative networks program. Now, that's just one of the anomalies going on. You know, it's a full blue moon today, full two full moons in a month. So, of course, time for you to get out and do all of those things that you say you're only going to do once in a blue moon. Next time won't be, you know, till January 2018. But... There are plenty of other anomalies going on this year. We've uh, talked to you about a lot of that and the predictive programming that is going into these anomalies leading up to the foreboding date coming up in September. Uh, this has been ongoing. Check it out. Roughly three months or 500 days from when the French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius and Secretary of State John Kerry made this vague announcement. We have 500 days to avoid the climate chaos. It will be September 23rd. The occult beliefs of the Illuminati stress the importance of the dates following the autumn equinox. The occultists believe that a veil separating the earthly realm from the demonic realm reaches its most allowable for the transfer of demons until midnight on Halloween. The events leading up to, on, and nearly following the date of September 23, 2015 are numerous, and many of them are as yet unconfirmed claims. Note to mainstream media unconfirmed claims here. We are simply taking a look at what is being said. A comet 
or an asteroid is said to be approaching Earth that will hit the coast of Venezuela and Brazil and create an extinction level event. Of course, NASA is denying this, but why would they tell us anything? They're funded by our government. The update and the ramping up of the 666 logo CERN Large Hadron Collider and the possible universe destroying opening of other dimensions within our own dimension or access to a gate that has been closed. The culmination of Jade Helm, a large scale PSYOP operation targeting pockets of the United States with the largest density populations of Patriot data to be utilized by military intelligence and Canada's Maple Resolve operation, a large scale readiness exercise movement of military vehicles. Meanwhile, the obvious closing of large retail chains due to online ordering beginning in August and resolving around early September. The strange part about the 6,000 plus stores closing is that eyewitnesses in Canada and America are claiming that closed target stores in Canada are being used by the military. The Day of Atonement lands squarely on September 23rd, 2015 and heralds in the 70th jubilee year which the angel gabriel delivered to the prophet daniel signaling the second coming of christ and the ominous historical meeting scheduled between president obama and the openly blatant new world order cheerleader pope francis the level of predictive programming leading up to this foreboding date with bomb. destiny has been ongoing the future is running out and yet everyone on the planet gets all worked up about these pointless little behaviors, blissfully unaware of the great vaporizing meteor due in 2015. <laughs> Which obviously doesn't exist because I'm kidding. Those with open eyes keep a watch as the elite gradually disappear to their cities underground. I mean, basically, you got an underground road, roadway system here that that runs all the way to Maine, to Washington, D.C., to Colorado. These locations go all the way to Area 51. These locations go all the way to Washington, D.C. There's access underneath the White House to this location. Well, forget the United States government. This is a headquarters for the Illuminati. This is where they'll ship most of their supplies. Economic cycles come to pass. This mystery of the Shemitah has been affecting our lives from the moment we were born, really. Uh, affecting our, from our bank accounts to world history itself. And uh, we are in a Shemitah year right now. That's one of the reasons I didn't want people to focus on dates. I do give dates, but it's a bigger principle. So this mystery begins uh, actually on Mount Sinai. When the law comes, it's called the law of the Shemitah. And basically to understand it, it's this. Every seven years was a Sabbath year. It's called the Shemitah. And during that year, there was no reaping, no sowing of the land. Everything came to a rest. And on the last day of the Shemitah, the last day was called, in Hebrew, was called Elul 29. That is the, the, the 29th day of the month of Elul. On that day comes a wipeout. All debt is wiped out, all credits wiped out, all the, the financial accounts are wiped clean. Now, the Shemitah was supposed to be a blessing, but when Israel turned away from God, the Shemitah comes back, not as a blessing, but as a sign of judgment on a nation that has once known God, but now is driving God out of its life. And this ultimately would lead to the destruction of Israel. So the question here is, could this ancient mystery, the Shemitah, still be in effect? Could it be affecting us right now? Could it be a warning with what is happening in America? And the answer, and that's why I wrote the book, The Mystery of the Shemitah, the answer is incredibly yes. It's in effect, it's affecting us, it has affected us, it is affecting us, and I believe it will affect us. Again, we are simply evaluating the signs here, mainstream media. We wouldn't want you to be envious of our ability to analyze what you are paid to cover up. We'll see you here Monday, 7 p.m. Central. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. And that's the principle of InfoWars Life, as far as I understand, that you've always had, is that it's not about 
synthetic chemicals and forcing actions. It's about letting your body do its own thing and giving your body the tools it needs to create these different compounds that are super valuable and super beneficial. You will find Brain Force and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.